When you're starting off with your creative business, you may have been a one person show or a solopreneur. Depending on your growth vision, you could still likely be one, which means you're still doing all the things, stuck in the weeds and oversold your services without a plan on how to service what you sell. The worst symptom of this, you're laying awake at night worried about things falling through the cracks. If you're not ready to hire team members or employees to help ease the pain, then you may want to consider hiring an operations consultant. In this video, I'll outline the top 10 skills that you you should look for in an operations consultant so you'll know how and where you can best leverage them in your bottlenecked business. So grab a warm cup of coffee, hit the subscribe and notification button, and let's dive in. Hey CEOs, welcome back to my channel, the best place for creative CEOs, consultants, and contractors. If you're brand new here, I'm Teresa, operations consultant behind loop link and i'm here to help you complete the loop in your business operations and expand your agency with excellence one of the ways i help you do that is by helping you shift from a ceo dependent to a systems dependent operations by leveraging your technology techniques and team if you stay with me we're going through the series of discovering how to get the expert support through a fractional executive team without breaking the bank an executive team to a solo ceo AKA a solopreneur can be made up of a fractional COO, CMO, or CTO, which I spoke about in this video right here. A little bit about me. I've been working as an operations coach consultant to solopreneurs and creative CEOs for the last three years, and it's been an amazing journey. There's been amazing impacts and also a lot of lessons along the way. And that's why I wanted to share this video with you if you're considering bringing on a consultant to your business and what you should consider to look for. It's really easy for us to get caught up with the digital landscape and what it's telling us to do. For example, there's a lot of instances where gurus or business leaders are saying your first hire should be a virtual assistant or an online business manager. But have you thought about hiring an operations consultant? In plain terms, an operations consultant is different than an online business manager. The biggest difference lies in the fact that they will not be implementers or doers in your business. They're there to provide you with the most ideal strategy, a roadmap to growth that aligns with your vision and identifies where your existing bottlenecks are and the solutions to fix that. And then they'll assist you in hiring the right talents to extract you from the day-to-day -day functions of your business so that you can focus on being the visionary CEO of your business. There are a lot of operations consultants out there all with different strengths and skill sets. So this video will help you define what you're looking for as a creative CEO. And also if you've been aspiring to become an operations consultant, this video is for you too. If you're a solo CEO, you've likely normalized the cycle of overwhelm, which means your body and mind is used to working late nights, weekends, and more. You're used to the bottlenecks and you're so close to the trees that you can't see the forest. An operations consultant can help you rise back to that 30,000 foot view by identifying the top three priorities to focus on in the first 90 days and get through that by effective time management for the short-term objectives and long-term plans. To effectively manage priorities, you would be breaking it down into uh, short-term time management. So it defines what needs to get done on a daily or weekly basis and then then the long-term time management, which funnels into the overall priority and project management. It's about working backwards from the long-term objective to map out the appropriate timeframes that are needed to achieve the specific milestones. This is important so you both have ample time to review your workflow, process improvement, and mapping out your organizational growth. As the CEO, you're going to want to get there as quickly as you can, but an operations consultant is going to help you slowly adjust to help space it out. This activity helps you let go of the cowboy effect and trying to still do it all yourself. When I work with clients in the capacity of an operations coach consultant, I work in the hybrid approach to coach you to learn how to prioritize and ease away from prioritizing everything. Not everything can be a priority and we need to learn how to discover the ROI and the impacts of specific priorities to determine the domino effect, which can generate a larger influence to other areas of your business. This eases into my next skill that you'll want to watch out for in an operations consultant, which is responsiveness. It's the ability to be quick on their feet, adjusting with your needs as they change throughout the course of your partnership together. Different things will come up and different priorities will take place. Being responsive is different than being reactive. 
And according to Project Times, responsiveness implies thoughtful action that considers long and short term outcomes in the moment. Reactiveness showcases itself as the immediate action without conscious thought, like a knee jerk response, and often is driven by emotions. An operations consultant can help diffuse that firefighting reactivity by applying responsiveness. Sometimes when priorities shift or when you feel a massive fire happening in your business, it's very easy for you as the CEO to try and stop the buck and react to it. This is where I would put on my business coach hat and help you navigate those emotions by checking what's the worst thing that can happen or what's triggering this fire for you. And let's walk through the responsive plan. We equip you with the skill sets to shift towards being responsive versus being reactive. The third piece you'll want to look for is exceptional communication skills, whether that's written or verbal. That includes everything from emails, making sure those are clear and concise, and it responds to your inquiries without being super long-winded and leaves you knowing what you need to do next or what they will be doing. In our digital world, because we're likely to communicate via email, um, communication channels such as Slack, Voxer, collaboration tools such as SamePage, or even through video conference through Zoom, it's extremely important to be able to speak in simple, clear and concise formats. Communication skills covers a broad spectrum, but if you were to narrow it down, some of the most important things to communicate are that of the partnership, the roadmap, the projects, the meetings, whatever the interaction or the scope is. Going back to the long-term priority or project management, it's really important to communicate clearly to support you as the CEO and support the team so that everyone is on the same page. This reduces any handoff surprises, unexpected adjustments, or misaligned expectations that will slow down the progress, leaving open loops for you and having to always follow up with status updates. In alignment with effective communication, it should be recorded well so you can easily find the meeting minutes or the roadmap notes and updates. This can be captured through a secure communication tool, whether it's same page, Asana, Basecamp, or whatever is the tool of choice for you and your operations consultant. The next skill set you'll want to look for is business acumen and awareness. We're seeing a huge paradigm shift from people who have worked in the corporate world and who's well equipped with specific skills to help run the operations more smoothly, but may not be strong in management and leadership or business acumen. I've worked in various industries from restaurants, hospitalities, construction, banking, and rental. I've worked both inside the industry and alongside the client who are the experts in the details of these industries. And in my capacity as the operations coach consultant, we are the experts in operations methodology, service and experiences that we're providing. It's important that your operations consultant has an understanding of how businesses work and the different sizes of business, what are the challenges they face at each level, and how the consultant can help the business overcome it. The operations consultant should have a basic understanding of your industry, which will deepen as they continue to work with you. They should be aware of what kind of challenges you're currently facing, give you the confidence that you can move past that and help you develop the infrastructure that will propel you forward with ease. One of the strongest feedback I got from my clients is that they feel understood and heard as the CEO of their business. They don't have to worry about having to explain it in depth, their business struggles or the decision matrix behind them because lower level employees employees or team members may not be able to articulate that struggle to strategic assistance. So having a partner who has a strong business acumen will help you scale quicker and allow you to fully lean into the partnership with ease. Skill number five that you'll want to look for in an operations consultant is their ability to uh, be analytical, which includes the ability to be quantitative or qualitative. In your CEO evolution, you'll want to make data-driven decisions versus reactive or emotion-driven decisions. The analytical mind of an operations consultant complements the mind of a visionary CEO who are typically quick starts. The operations consultant should be able to gather and analyze data such as general industry trends, specific reports based on marketing initiatives, where some of the bottlenecks can be happening, and where you can best focus your energy to generate that domino effect and gain the traction in your business. Business. It's more statistics driven and it has defined structure that results in deep data analysis. On the qualitative side, the operations consultant can help you evaluate customer market surveys, employee performances, interview questions, etc. It's more open for exploration to uncover the why, the how, and use more of a scientist approach to investigate and provide conclusive research information. If you think your business is simply too small or that you may not need data at this 
this moment, you may be surprised to know that without data, you're in fact hindering your own growth. It's like throwing spaghetti at the wall, trying to make something stick and not understanding why it's not working. All right, skill set number six, an operations consultant needs to glow with their organizational skills. It's not simply about the way how they organize their folders, drives, or emails, but it's about delivering consistency that empowers efficiency and effectiveness. If you're a solo CEO and have been a one person show for a long time, your back end may not be in the best shape for organization and content management. They should be able to come in with a simple methodology to help you apply your backend organization and management. If they cannot exert the confidence of organization, that in turn will create doubt in your relationship whether or not they can help you clean up your backend, apply consistent organization that will position you for sustainable growth. Let's face it, as you add team members, it could either get a lot worse in terms of content and organization, or it can run smoothly and systematically. All right, the skill set number seven is team collaboration. Early in my days as an operations coach consultant, I suggested to one of my clients to bring all of his contractors and partners to the table so we can all get to know each other, understand which areas um, we're accountable for, and how can we collaborate together to increase the level of success for our client. He loved that idea so much that he made a roundtable meeting. Unfortunately, a contractor declined that as they felt there was a risk of their trade secrets being stolen, and so my client ended up parting ways with this contractor. The operations consultant that you'll be partnering up with should be open to working and integrating with your other teams and be a part of the solution and not the problem. They bring a level of synergy to tie the operations or projects from end to end and work well collectively to meet your needs and the needs of the team. This goes back to the level of communication and priority and project management. Number eight is the ability to think in systems. Every part of your business is an ecosystem of a larger system. Streamlined businesses will have repeatable activities that will run systematically. When things break or stop working or forms a bottleneck, your operations consultant should be able to dive into those systems analysis to uncover where the break lies, and then they'll be able to respond with either critical thinking on the assessment of an existing system and how to improve probability of its success, or creative thinking, which focuses on possibility and developing something new to improve that success. Your operations consultant should be able to think in either terms and work with you to provide the best strategy during your partnership together. They are always looking for ways to improve the technique, technology, or team, and to always continuously improve. Number nine, when you are looking for an operations consultant, they should be strong in their social skills. Consulting, no matter which niche or industry, is a client facing role. So an important aspect of that area is relationship building and development in the partnership. While personality synergy plays a part in it, it's about the ability to find and establish connections that fosters confidence, trust, and joy in an authentic way. If you dread holding your conversations with your clients or consultant or team, it will impact the progress of the partnership and challenges will arise frequently throughout the journey. Number 10 is about boundaries. One of the main issues I see arising over and over again in the consulting world is the lack or infringement of boundaries. As consultants, we're always trying to make the clients happy to help them achieve desired outcomes and success. And along the way, we may get lost, burnt out, or end up staying awake at night due to our clients' progress or issues. We often neglect our own boundaries and self-care. It takes consistent practice to be good at outlining and communicating boundaries. One of the things you'll want to look for in your operations consultant is their exercise of boundaries. The first instance of this is through their method of project scoping and establishing the priorities and being able to bring tangent conversations and brainstorming sessions back to the roadmap. They can take the lead in holding the conversations of handoffs when you are trying to micromanage their work and if they are exercising more of the not now or if this, then what can be deferred. This keeps the partnership healthy and remains energized until you hit the finish line together. It is an exciting time when you are ready to grow your business. If you're feeling like hiring an operations consultant is the next best step, then I hope that this video has helped identify what you'll want to look for in the consultant and partnership. While you're searching for your ideal partner, you'll want to start extracting your precious knowledge from your mind into a standard operating procedure. I've included my free SOP bundle that can help you get started on this journey. You can Download it for free by clicking on the link below this video. Have you been thinking about hiring an operations consultant? Or have you been curious or considering becoming an operations consultant? I'd love to hear from you. 
in the comment section below. Make sure you download your free SOP bundle. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share with a friend, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. I'm Teresa, Operations Coach Sultan, and I'll see you in the next one.